Hello and welcome. My name is Daya Jagede. I know it's been a long time, probably a year since I last uh, posted, interviewed, or did anything on the Blooming Edge channel. Um, a lot has happened in the past one year. Let me, I'm going to give you a quick update and I'm going to tell you what is coming up uh, as we reboot and we revamp you know, uh, our content. Yeah, um, I took a break. I think that was 2022 December. I wanted to focus a little bit on my um, career. Uh, but um, yeah, career was going good. Fast forward, I, I was let go at my job at Meta. Uh, I'm not crying a river, so yeah, everything is good. Um, yes, I was let go at Meta. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do, how I want to move forward, uh, how the family is going to uh, go from there. Um, yeah, I did a couple of interviews. I, um, I decided I actually was in the middle of uh, getting a job in uh, Georgia, which was where we moved from. We moved from Georgia to Texas. So I was in the process of getting a job in uh, Georgia and uh, I decided not to move forward again uh, because I wanted to either get a job in Texas or stay with my family. And uh, I finally, you know, I, I figured out what was best for me. I decided to go with the family and in choosing the family, I also make a big decision to end my career. Now, when I say career, I mean nine to five. Um, I decided not to look for any other job. And uh, I know it was a very big decision. It was, um, we had to put a lot of things in place financially. Uh, my wife started uh, working. She was just about getting into her own career when I lost my job. So it was a perfect timing for one was going out, one was coming in. So. Yeah, I mean, we've always practiced being a single income family to manage our finances. So, financial wise, you know, of course, rocky a little bit, but things are very stable right now. And that's why it took me a long time before I'm talking to you again. I wanted to figure out what uh, the best way to go forward. Anyways, um, after a lot of, you know, prayer, consulting my wife, talking to uh, one or two mentors to know what is the right direction for me. I decided to focus on the family business. Um, uh, if you don't know, now you know. I was laid off before, uh, while I was in 2016. So that was Microsoft, and um, of course that was that was my first time getting laid off, and it was a shocker for me. But one thing I learned from that layoff was I needed to have something to generate income for me. So and that was why we went into real estate back in 2019, 18, I think after I got my next job in uh, 2016, October. So anyways, we started investing in real estate. Real estate has been good. We all know the market is not so good right now. Um, so we have a real estate business, which is what you all probably know me for, that I was always you know, talking about on my channel. Then last year, February, we moved into a vending machine business. You know, we started putting vending machines in the locations, warehouse, company, businesses, uh, so that we can help to sell uh, beverages, snacks, and all that stuff. So that is also something that uh, I've been uh, working on on the side in the past few months since I got laid off in April. So I've been working on the real estate, I've been working on the vending. All these things together, I'm going to be bringing it right here to you, you know, to entertain, to make you learn, to understand different aspects of what I'm working on, the businesses and everything incorporated together. So in full details, I'll be bringing you more details on vending machines. We are currently working on micro markets. Micro market is like the advanced type of a vending machine. In big corporations, you will see uh, what a micro market looks like. And if you don't have any idea, I'll be here to show you what a micro market looks like, walk you through the process, understand the pros and cons of micro market and vending machine, what I do on a daily basis. I'll have camera follow me around to show you how I manage the vending and the micro market business. Both the vending and the micro market is operated under EMZ vending. So if you know EMZ, that's my wife. So EMZ vending, that will handle the vending and the micro market. I will also be going into details on real estate projects. When I say real estate projects, it could be flips, it could be bore. Bore is the B with the four half. You buy, you rehab, you, uh, you repeat, you rent. <laughs> I'm mixing it up right now. Flipping, bore, I'll be buying uh, multifamilies. We have a few uh, multifamily um, 
um, apartments that I'll be showing you how we manage them, how we work with contractors, how we work with our project managers. Then, one cool thing in the past few months is I've been working on my real estate license in Texas. So, a little bit slow, I would say maybe I'm not so good at reading like I used to, but I'm definitely catching up on reading. So, once I get my license, my goal is to give you a good tour of luxury homes in the DFW. I'll be reaching out to uh, builders. Uh, assess their property, show you what you know those properties look like, the features, the price, the locations. So you you know I will be presenting all these things, and finally, uh, what do you all know me for? The webinar, the interview, the talks. I'll be bringing people to you know to our channel to give us good knowledge, talk about careers, talk about you know whatever business business they are working on how they can help to grow other people, what insight they can share into their business and how they can help other people to learn and to grow, the, you know, what they can impact the next generation. So, in recap, I'll be talking about vending machine, micro market, uh, real estate projects, luxury home tours, when I get my license, and web webinar interviews and talks. So these are things you should expect from me on the Blooming Edge uh, channel. Thank you so much, and I promise this is going to be more stable. I'm not going to run away. I'm here for you. Uh, please stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.